Hey, welcome back. As you can see, I'm expanding back here behind me. I'm making the studio a little bit bigger and better. Uh, I've got some shelves down here. I know you can't see it all, but there's bourbon all the way to the floor back here. Um, but I've got it spread out where maybe you can see the labels a little bit better instead of having everything crowded onto one shelf. With that though, I've got a good one for you. Beam Suntory finalizing uh, the collection here and we're gonna get to it right after this. All right, I've been looking for this one. Cannot get this around here, uh, not readily. I uh, did find it, uh, it was a special order. Uh, this is the uh, part, you know, of course there's Jim Beam, Jim Beam Black. Um, there's the, uh, um, shoot, what is it? Um, oh, Old Tub, and then the, the Bakers and Bookers. The one I don't have is Little Book, but Little Book is over uh, $100, and I normally don't do uh, over $100 on this channel. So, but this one was a reasonably priced. I can't remember how much it was, but it was, it wasn't break the bank. It was under 50. So let's talk about this one. Um, so Beam Suntory, we know that. Uh, Legion, uh, two true legends, uh, one truly unique bourbon. So what happened here is Fred No is the one that distilled this. And then I'm not going to read all these words on there, but then, uh, Chief Blender uh, Shinji uh, Fukio um, says, uh, Legion is a marriage of East and West. It's a celebration of the craftsmanship of Kentucky bourbon balanced with the artistry of Japanese blending. All right, from rich aromas of mature oak and lingering spice, blah, blah, blah. We won't read all that. Um, uh, Cause it's gonna start giving me notes and I, I don't wanna uh, get that in my head but it is finished, so it's partially finished. Uh, and this is important, in wine and sherry casks. So, it's Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, partially finished, I don't know what that means. So, uh, did not read up on this that much, but I did know some about it. I did know it was a fusion type thing uh, between Fred No and, and uh, have to read the name again, Shinji Fukuyo, Fukuyo. <laughs> so let's go ahead and pour this out and see what we're going to get because I have been excited to try this nice wooden top it does have a rubber cork but again we don't hold anyone against trying to save the earth and, and all that type of junk all right let's give her a swirl so nice color I do like that uh, nice uh, medium amber on it let's get starting to get some droplets around the top we'll get this first sip out let me just get the nose on it though okay i am get, picking up some of that sherry cask the wine in it but there there is that underlying caramel vanilla and it is, there is some spice on the nose. Um, my mouth is starting to water. This smells so good. <laughs> Man, that that is a really good nose on this thing. All right, I'm gonna get this first sip out of the way. Man, that's some good trails coming down already. Wow. Wow. Um, that, that is really, really good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I, have, I finally have a bottle of this. Man, there's some dark notes in here. Um, roasted fruit, just deep, dark flavors. Good, slow trails. It coated really well. Nice uh, wood notes, oak notes and things coming off, you know, of that. A little bit sweet right at first and that dissipates, I still have that spicy finish in the back of my throat. All right, let's start picking this thing apart. 
definitely some apricot in there, but it's going a lot deeper. Uh, it's almost like a, it's like a pie, like, you know, baked uh, pie with dark spice to it. Man, that is good. Wow. This stuff here is uh, really, really good. Yeah, it's not too sweet. It's not too sweet. It is right on the mark. Um, a little bit, I guess, of that sherry. Uh, but there, there is some underlying wine notes. But it's not as strong. Like uh, Angel's Envy, okay, port wine barrel finished. That's coming through a little too strong for me. Uh, there's some other ones that, that have like red wine barrel finish, Cabernet barrels, things like that. Comes through a little strong, but this is very subtle, very subtle uh, in, in the uh, departure from just straight Kentucky bourbon. Man, that, that finish is there. What's the proof on this? It is... I don't think it's that much. Oh, it is too. Well, it's not that much. It's 47%, 94 proof. Um, uh, but I'm not getting that warmth, you know, off of it. Uh, I think 100, you know, 100 proof and, and up. But wow, this thing is so easy to sip on. It, it's a, a just enough sweetness, but there's that spice in there. Mm, that, that little sweet kick right on the front, it just keeps you coming back. Um, it's got like a, a a brown sugary caramel little, like really sweet on the tip of the tongue. And then it just dissipates as it goes back and you start getting those spices come out of it. But it, it maintains this dark fruit flavor as it goes across. Let me see what they say. Okay, uh, from rich aromas of mature oak, which I am, I'm getting, I'm getting the oak notes, and lingering spice in spades. It, like I said, that's what's on the finish uh, back here. Um, to the flavors of dried fruits pulled uh, from wine and sherry casks, every sip of Legion is worth savoring and sharing. Okay. Pretty much nailed it. I didn't read that before I started this, so uh, I thought it said it was, well, yeah, it says from wine and sherry cast, but I think over here it says finished, partially finished in wine and sherry cast. So um, that just says it, it's like dried fruit pulled from those casts, but it really is. It's, it's very good. But let's rank it for me. This is a wonderful, wonderful go-to if you're not looking for uh, barrel proof cast strength. Now, uh, for me, the Booker's 2019-03. I have had other Booker's. That's my favorite, right? And it's up there in price, 90 bucks uh, for that bottle. Now that I didn't pay as much for because I, I bought it, it was the 2019-03. And back then they weren't, they didn't keep jacking the price up, but I still think I paid 80, around 80 for that bottle. But now they're up there and they're starting to price themselves off my channel. Uh, now, Little Book is priced off my channel. I mean, I'll get some for myself. I'll get Kentucky Owl for myself. I'll get Garrison Brothers for myself, but I'm not going to review them on this channel because this channel is meant to bring you sub $100 bourbons. Um, but, and Blanton's, you know, if I get my hands on a bottle of that, that'll be on my private stash shelf. Uh, may, by request, review uh, one or two, or maybe a special time, I may pull out a, a above $100 bourbon every once in a while, but I'm not gonna make a habit of that. That's not what this channel's about. But this, for a sub, I think it was even sub 50. Mmm. Man, that thing's firing on every cylinder, and uh, I agree with every word they put on the back of that. 
that I was able to pick out before I even read it. Yeah, I mean, this is fantastic. Um, really, really glad I have a bottle of Legion now. Uh, and, I, and I'm going to compare it with other, uh, you know, with the Bakers and the, uh, uh, of course, this is a lower alcohol that, than the Booker's, but the Booker is going to give you more of a hug for sure. Uh, but this is this is really good. So with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. As always, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell down there for notifications. And I promise I'll keep bringing you these videos.